shall reflect on the life of Saint Thorlak. Saint Thorlak is one of the few canonized saints of the remote island of Iceland. Even though for centuries before the coming of the Viking, it was peopled by Irish monks who lived on the edge of the world on what they called Ultima Thule. The Vikings came in the 8th and the 9th centuries and by the beginning of the 10th century the country was divided into two dioceses Sharhokt and Holar. Born at Iceland in 1133, Thorlak was ordained a deacon when he was barely 15 years of age and priest by the age of 18. A promising young man, he was sent to England and France to study. While abroad, he became a canon regular of St. Augustine and full of reforming zeal, he returned to Iceland in the year 1161, a time when clerical life in Iceland was rather lax. But Thorlak set up a strict religious regime for himself, devoting much time and energy to study and the ministry. When a certain hairless farmer died, he left Thorlak a land to build a monastery. Seizing the providential opportunity, he established a monastery of canons regular, of which he became the abbot. When he became bishop of Skalhokt in 1178, Thorlak set into motion the reform of his diocese in right earnest. He strove to promote higher spiritual standards and improve ecclesiastical discipline, encouraging others to a holy life by way of personal example, he imposed the observance of clerical celibacy, put a stop to lay interference in the affairs of the church and attempted to do away with simony that was rampant. Facing opposition on all sides, he met with little success, though bearing the support of his metropolitan, Archbishop St. Einstein of Norway, who had consecrated him at Nidaros, he found little to encourage him in his efforts. After 15 years as a bishop, Thorlak went into his 60th year, resolved to resign his bishopric and return to his monastery. But death overruled his decision on the 23rd of December 1193. His work did not go unnoticed. However, he was canonized by the local assembly of the bishops of Iceland five years after his death. He is one of the three Icelandic saints venerated in Iceland.